Come on over, guys. I'm not gonna. I'll be. I'll be nice. All right. Let's talk about uh, what we're trying to get out of this as we go through doubles. Like I said, we're gonna shoot a lot of rounds, a couple hundred rounds in total. And just after one iteration from up close, we're starting to see a little pattern on some of the targets. So I wanna talk through how to read these and what we're trying to get out of it. Okay, so like I said before, there's gonna be two common things. What are they that we see? Visual, uh, vision. vision, vision, right. So like, we wanna be target focused on a small spot. That's the black paster, right? That's what we want. Focus on that spot with hatred in our heart, which again, that sounds weird, but it's not just, am I optically focused on this? Is this clear? It's like, I'm actually in my head or my heart. I'm trying to send bullets onto that spot. It's not really possible to hit this thing every time, but I'm really trying, like I'm, like I'm staring at it intently, like that's where I want to send bullets. Yeah, so if our vision goes anywhere but onto the spot on the target, that's going to be a problem. The most common thing that's going to get in the way is what? The sight, yeah? Yeah, okay, the other thing is, yes, round's getting pushed down low from tension. All right. Is that a left-handed shooter? It is, so you can tell just from the target. Like, you're like, oh, shit, it looks like a left-handed. Yes, it's, it's very predictable, all the things that happen here. All right, so let's talk through some tips here. There's things to pay attention to. First, like I said, we really, really emphasize the word connection. Now, grip problems, like some problem with your grip, it's usually, it's not like you see it after one or two rounds. Right? What are you experiencing as you shoot multiple pairs on this drill? Is your grip staying the same or is it changing? Yes. So like most people don't like to say that, but if you're paying attention to this and you're honest with yourself, I, th I think most people, there's like the idea that your grip is a static thing that's not changing, like that's bullshit. Like what's, what's tending to happen with most people is this. They'll, they tend, the tendency is people start too loose then as they shoot more and more rounds, things change. Whereas typically the dominant hand's just gonna tighten up on the gun and maybe your support hand loosens up. So it's like you feel the gun recoiling, you don't like that, and then you'll tense up just your dominant hand. What do we expect to see if that happens? Yeah, so you'll start driving down on the gun. You, if you're shooting aggressively at all, you'll, you'll start overreacting and pushing down on the gun. Okay, yeah, that is bad, we don't wanna do that. Right. Let's say, and this, this does happen too. Some guys come out and they're so tense. They're like bearing down on the gun, super duper tense. And then over the course of the string, just in order to run the gun harder, they end up relaxing their firing hand a little bit. I saw you do this or try to run a little harder, right? Does that sound like anybody? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So notice like it'll be the tension comes out wrong one way too too much tension. A lot of times too little and then it changes over the course of the exercise. Now this is why I said up front, hey, take all the time you need with the draw, get this just right, just in terms of the pressures, get the pressures you want and then work to have them not change. If people dry fire a lot, for example, they tend to be too loose. So think about how your dry fire is. It's like, it kind of pays dividends at home just trying to draw the gun fast. If I just relax as much as possible, it's easy for me to whip the gun out quick. Yeah, and if I'm just timing, Boom, get a sight picture. Like that was a fast sight picture. But if you're watching my hands, like is the pressure right? No. So if the people are frequent dry firers, it is a, yeah, it's a very common thing here where they're gonna come out of the holster too loose. They start to feel the recoil, the live rounds, and then they start to tense stuff. Things start to change. So be very, very aware of that, right? Again, the grip tension, like we don't want it to change. We just wanna be nice and consistent hold my firing hand on the gun, don't tense it up and bear down and drive the gun down, connect my support hand to the gun so that nothing's shifting around or moving, and then it makes everything nice and stable and predictable. Yes, good. Okay, now the vision piece, this is actually a little bit harder, would you say? Why is it harder, the vision piece of this? Because you get to your eye captures the dot and you focus on the dot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's like, so when you, get, when you get a pistol with the red dot on it, the first challenge is like, you draw it and you're like, where the fuck is, oh, there, oh, okay, there it is. And that usually turns into a thing where guys are like, okay, I gotta find the dot, and then, okay, there it is, there's the dot. They find the dot, and now what, they don't wanna let it go. They're just gonna stare at that red thing because they're afraid of losing it. Now that is 180 degrees the other direction from how you're meant to shoot a red dot, 180 degrees. What should happen, 
Hopefully we'll get a good look. You, you can see my eyes. So if I'm, if your nose is my target, what should happen is my pistol comes up out of the holster. No, your nose. Don't look away. Right there. You can make it your dick if you want. So staring at your, at your wing right now, at your junk. Right. So my dot's coming up. Is that right? You can tell it wasn't right because the dot came into my awareness and I took my eyes off the, off the prize and down on the dot. And said, what should happen is this. Like I'm visually connected to that spot. You see the sight come up to my eye target line and my eyes don't shift, right? If you're really paying close attention on doing this drill, you'll, you'll find like, ooh, my eyes want to go onto that dot real bad. You know what I'm talking about? And then you're paying close attention after that. You'd be like, you'd be like, I'm good for a pair or two pairs. Then like pair three and pair four, it's like you just get pulled right onto that thing. All right. The hard part to me with the vision is the assessment. It's hard for people to know what they're doing and what they're not doing. All right. So we'll do another iteration of doubles. We'll go back. We'll back up a line. We'll do another iteration of this. Then I'll, we'll do some little exercises to build your awareness to with some of these concepts, both with your eyes and with your grip. Make sense? All right. Let's get to it, guys. Thank you.